<clears throat> Here's a related rates problem that's a little more abstract. It just deals with a point moving along a curve. And <clears throat> we're told how fast the x-coordinate is changing uh, as a function of time. And then we're asked that the instant that the x-coordinate is 2, we want to know how fast is the y-coordinate changing. So it's like you got this point moving along this parabola. So the first thing we need to do, as usual, is model by sketching the parabola. So x minus 4 squared is just going to be a parabola um, shifted to the right 4. So its vertex will be um, on the on the x-axis here at 4. And we don't need to be, doesn't need to be a perfect picture. Something like that's kind of a sad parabola, but that'll get the job done. So you've got a point that's moving... This point is just moving along this parabola, and therefore you can see that its x-coordinate and y-coordinate are changing. And we know the rate at which the x-coordinate is changing. That was That's being told to us. So we know that dx dt, so it says its x-coordinate uh, is increasing at 5 units per second, so it's moving to the right. So that's 5 units per second. And what we want is we want to know dy dt when x equals 2. Notice that when x equals 2, the point will be right here, which means its y coordinate is decreasing. So we should expect, it just we should anticipate that this rate is going to be negative. So we need our equation. Now the good news is the equation is not something we have to come up with, it's just this relationship here. It's the uh, how the variables relate to create this graph to begin with. So y equals x minus 4 squared. And now we need to take the derivative with respect to time. So dy dt equals 2 x minus 4 times dx dt the chain rule. I hope if you've been watching these videos at this point that is almost instinctive uh, so that you don't even have to think about it. It just comes naturally. All right, and so now we substitute and solve. So dy dt equals 2. Uh, this time x is 2, so 2 minus 4, and dx dt is 5. So that becomes 2 times negative 2 times 5, so it's negative 20. And that would be units per second. And interpret. So we'll say um, the y coordinate. decreasing at a rate of 20 units per second at this instant. All right, let's let's do a follow-up problem on the next slide. All right, there's a different question we could ask, same situation. At the moment x equals 2, how fast is the point's distance from the origin changing? So, again, let's just note what we know. We know that dx dt is 5. And we know that uh, we just found dy dt, so we might as well note that. We know that dy dt at this instant is negative 20 units per second. And so what we want is, well, I can't really, I should come up with a variable first, right? So let's, let's just say, let's uh, make this bigger. And let's call, this is, a, this is when x is 2. That's where the point would be. So this here, that's the distance from the origin. Let's call that L. We want to know dl dt.
when x equals 2. All right, so I just can't make that smaller. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to come up with an equation. Now the good news is we can just we can come up with a distance between the origin and this point and we don't really we don't need this necessarily to be in terms of one variable like in other problems and the reason is because we know dx dt and dy dt so those can be just substituted in as values even if our equation has two variables in it so in in previous problems i think i've told you to try to get the function in terms of one uh, the equation in terms of one variable but it's not really necessary here so what would the equation be? Well, if you just drop hypotenuse here, we call that x and call that y, we can see that the Pythagorean theorem will do just fine. So I can say that x squared plus y squared equals l squared. Now, there's no need to solve for l. You can leave it just like this because we're going to take the derivative. And when you take the derivative, you're essentially doing this problem implicitly and so you you don't really need it, it doesn't matter how it looks it doesn't matter if this isn't solved for l we're still going to we're still going to get the same answer and it's probably going to be a little, little less tedious so x squared is 2x times dx dt the derivative of y squared is 2y times dy dt and the derivative of l squared is 2l times dl dt and remember this is what we want so we'll substitute and solve. So 2 times x, x is 2 at this instant. dx dt we know is 5 plus 2. y we don't know, but we'll find that in a second. dy dt is negative 20 equals 2. l we also don't know at this instant, but we can find it in a second times dl dt, which is what we want. Now, what is y at this instant? Well, um, when x is 2, remember this is the equation of the function, this is the function uh, y equals x minus 4 squared. So at the instant x is 2, y is, so when x is 2, y is 2 minus, 2 minus 4 squared. which is negative 2 squared, which is 4. All right, so y is 4. And then once we know that, we can find L, because by the Pythagorean theorem, at that instant, at that instant, we've got x being 2, y being 4. So L would be the square root. That implies that L is the square root of uh, 4 plus 16 squared to 20 square root of 20. Alright, so even though it didn't seem like we knew, knew those things, we actually did. So this is 5 times 4 is uh, 20. So I get 20 plus 8 times negative 20 is negative 160 equals um, 2 root 20. I probably could have divided everything by 2, but okay. I'm going to need to shrink this. Uh, so solving, I get negative 140 over 2 root 20 is what our DLDT is. And that ends up being about negative uh, 15 point six five and we're going to say units per second so to interpret interpret we're going to say uh, the points distance is decreasing our distance from the origin. Distance from the origin is decreasing. It 
is decreasing at a rate of 15.65 units per second at that instant. <coughs>